saw me. I saw me. Saw me do the intro, guys. Let me run away. Now the gazillion premium bubbles is good to go. Oh, bread just came out. Oh, the fish came out. Oh, nah, ba ba ba. What's up, my Walden people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley in Walmart. All right, guys, so I'm here looking for different pieces to make a fish trap. Guys, are you really a fish YouTuber if you don't? Someone saw me, I guess. Saw me, saw me do the intro, guys, let me run away. All right, so where was I? Guys, are you really part of the fishing community in YouTube if you haven't made a fish trap? I don't think so. So as a result, I'm going to make a fish trap. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm trying to make. I'm trying to just brainstorm right now, see what I can find and put together. Let's get it and stay wilding. Yeah, yeah. I have some flex tape, so that's a good start. All right, so I was walking around and this immediately caught my eye. Huh, what do you guys think? Make a fish trap out of a, a weird looking bottle? And I can blow some bubbles at the same time. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Ooh, take a look at those dive rings. I wonder what I could use those for. Hmm. Maybe I should use a bin. I'm not too sure. One thing I do know is I should have got a cart. Cause my hands are getting full and I can't film anymore. So that's not good. <laughs> so I think I got everything I need for this fish net, fish trap, fish net, net. I think I'm good to go. All right, my Walden people, we made it back home and guess what? It's time to do the fish trap with the gazillion premium bubbles. Are you guys ready for this? I know I am, let's see what happens. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I do a step-by-step -step so you can do it too. All right guys, let's get it. All right guys, so what we have to do now is empty these gazillion bubbles. You guys ready for this? Ah, but we can't let these bubbles go to waste. What should I do? No more bubbles, so it's fish fish. One more final link. good to go all right guys so I do need a Sprite bottle so I'm gonna use this Sprite bottle and combine it with my gazillion premium bubbles bottle. let's get the show on the road okay safety first put those goggles and those gloves so I'm gonna puncture a hole in the soda can I said soda can that reminds me of my last video of the actual soda bottle and I'm gonna cut make it round Hey, finally, I cut it. <laughs> it took long enough. Gonna measure it, make sure it's perfect. Gonna do some trimming right there. All right, it's a perfect fit. Now I just have to trace. Yeah, there you go. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so now I have to trace around. That way I have a little line to follow through while I'm puncturing a hole through the gazillion bubble bottle. Let's get to cutting. Whoa, that was quick. Last little snip, and we're good. So let me see if it fits. Let me use, okay, it's a perfect fit. So what I'm gonna use now is I'm gonna use a push pin, or is that a safety pin? It's a safety pin, guys, a safety pin. So I'm gonna use that and puncture holes in both the gazillion bottle, bubble bottle, and the Sprite bottle. Um, the whole reason of that, eh, you'll find out. Keep watching. All right, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to run a line, a fishing line through it. That way I can keep it nice and tight. Because again, I'm targeting little minnows, little fish, and I don't want them escaping. So I'm going to try to seal it, and apart from sealing it, I'm going to use some fishing line. I mean, we are fishing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so watch me as I attempt to put my sewing skills to the test, if you will. I don't know. All right, so what I'm trying to do right now is run the fishing line through both bottles. It's a struggle. But somebody has to do it, and that somebody is me. We're trying to catch fish now, so speed it up real quick. Oh, am I done? And it looks like I'm done. So I'm also gonna use a hot glue gun, is that what you call it? I don't know, it's something I got from Walmart. And I'm gonna use that to seal. So first I use a fishing line to tighten it together to make sure it's all one piece. And now I'm gonna actually use the hot glue gun glue to seal it together to make sure no fish can come out of it once they're in the trap. It's very important or else I'm really wasting my time. <laughs> All right, so just watch me glue it, I guess, if you will. And it's almost ready. This is like one of the last steps. 
Watch me glue, watch me glue, watch me glue and listen to music. Watch me glue and listen to music. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do now is drill holes. I'm using the drill right now. I don't know how many holes. I'm just literally just randomly drilling holes. It'd be probably better if I was more organized and had like a script going through. Hey, but this is gonna work regardless. All right, so this is the rope I'm gonna use to help pull my trap out of the water, as well as throw it. Just drilling a hole or two for that hole to go through so I can tie a knot. It'd be nice to ideally use the top of the bottle, the purple top, and just run the string right through the hole. But unfortunately, that pops right off, and I don't know how heavy the fish I'm gonna catch are gonna be, because I'm trying to catch a gazillion fish. So this will work. So now the gazillion premium bubbles is good to go. It's sealed, no fish can get out of this. I'm really aiming to catch a bunch of little minnows. That's what I'm trying to get so I can feed my fish, on uh, my new fish, on uh, my baby fish. So, so far so good guys. So let's see if it works. All right guys, I have everything I need. I have my trap, I have some bread, and I have some rocks in my pocket. <laughs> Those are gonna be used as weights to help this sink. Remember I drilled holes in this. The whole purpose of drilling holes is so water can enter and it can sink down. Now I'm gonna start chumming, but first I have to find a place to chum. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see him, but the little middle's right there. All right, we're gonna try to get those. Let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna start chumming. Small little pieces, so that way they can all come out. Let's get them going. I don't know if you guys can see him. All right, so let's put this fish trap to the test. Let me get a rock. I'm just gonna put one simple rock in there. And then I'm gonna get some bread. Put a couple pieces of bread, nothing too big. Maybe, uh, maybe just a little pinch for good luck. All right, so that's good to go. Let me screw on the cap. So let's toss it to where those minnows were. And we're probably gonna leave it here for about, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Water's slowly going into it. And I see, I, ah, look at that. I see the little minnows going in it. Look at them. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, let me try to focus a bit more. All right guys, so so far the trap is working. It looks like some minnows have actually gone into my bottle. A lot of them are still hanging out here, trying to nip at bread. It looks like some of them are stuck. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I'm gonna leave it here for about, you know, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then I'll pull it out and I'll see how many minnows I caught. Slowly sinking. All right, let's go take a look as to how this fish trap is doing. Okay, I think I can see some fish in there. It's been about 20 minutes. Let me get some fresh water. I'm hoping for some big fool. I'm hoping for a lot of fish. All right, let me just pull it together. Oh, bread just came out. Oh, the fish came out. Some fish came out. Okay, let me see what I have left. Oh, guys, this worked. Okay, let's see, let's see. The fish actually come out of it? No, those were fish around the bottle that came out. Because as you guys can see, it's not that easy for fish to come out. All right, let me just open this up and see how many fish I actually have. Enough talking. Let's see what I got. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yo, why is this so tight? All right, perfect. I'm excited, I'm excited. All right, there's the rocks, there's some bread, and look at the gazillion minnows. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, clean, clean. <laughs> All right, there's the rocks, piece of bread left. Okay, not too bad. All right, my Walden people, as you guys saw, it worked. The trap worked, it was awesome. I have a lot of fish to feed my fish. Speaking of my fish, let's take a look to see how the red tail and the tiger shovelnose are doing. Big baby, what's up? Look at this big baby just hanging out. <laughs> uh, what's up, man? Coming to Papa. Oh, oh, look at him coming over. Oh, he thinks I have food. Then he saw no food. All right, where is the tiger shovelnose? Oh, am I blind? It's right there. Coming in for a close up, and he's gone. <laughs> I'll try feeding him next video. 
All right, my Walden people, that's all the time we have left on this episode. I hope you enjoyed the fish trap. If you guys have any questions at all about the fish trap, comment below and let me know. Until next time. Oh, by the way, next time I'm going to do a feeding video, we'll see how they react to the minnows. We'll see who eats the minnows and who isn't a fan of minnows. All right, guys, until next time. Let's get it and stay wildin'. Yeah, yeah. No! Ah!